Hi guys! Today I thought I'd just show you a little book I've been working on over the lockdown period and this is going to be it's a finger family book and what is that about I will show you in a second it's just an idea I had and I thought I'd work on it and I've decorated the front of this with a mixture of stickers which I bought off the internet this completely random stickers that I thought were cute like this one says can I please get a waffle and some Pokemon stickers and baby Yoda and a pie card and they're just cute little stickers that I like and then I use letter stickers to do this finger family book so what is it about I'm going to show you and you're going to see a lot of characters that you know and my first page is blank because I always do that with a new notebook I don't know why but I always tend to leave the first page blank it's just a weird habit that I've always had and this is what it is I've been working on so I've drawn a hand on then coloured it in and I've done finger families for all the different cartoons that we watch now I couldn't include everything I've tried to include the most obvious ones um, so if you think I've missed any Five finger families maybe let me know in the comments or if you have a favorite from the ones I've done also let me know in the comments so I'm going to show you each one this is the hey Ducky finger family oh by the way this is a Rhodia notebook which I got from Amazon it was about two pounds fifty and the paper is really good quality and it's about 70 pages I think so it's just the right size because it's not too big um, and this is the Onward family. Next I did the Paw Patrol family. The Inside Out family. The Playmobil movie family. I did the PJ Masks family. The Moana family, the Lego family, the crayons. Now this is from a book called The Day the Crayons Left and there's a couple of books, a couple of sequels. It's a really great book if you've not read it before. It's a kid's book so I put down the crayons family but that's where these images are from, that particular book because that's one of our favourites. Then I did the Ugly Dolls family. I did the Disney family and if you're looking at this and thinking but you missed out this character or that character it's because I've only got five fingers so I had just to pick my five favorites or just the five I could find because these images are from the internet and sometimes it's not easy to find a clear picture of all the characters and this one this is 10 because there's so many characters this is the Simpsons family so you've got everything from the main Simpsons family to some of the secondary characters in the Simpsons although you must know there's lots and lots of Simpsons characters Put that down there and then next up I've got the Teletubbies family and new new in the middle and then I've got the Minecraft family I should have put Alex in there really but I think I couldn't find an image of Alex that I liked then now I haven't just put cartoons and things in here because at this point in the book I was thinking oh my goodness I've got so many pages to complete and I didn't have enough ideas at that point so I thought you know what, I'm going to do other things too because this is like a book for kids to look through I did the fruit family because I had these cool fruit stickers so that, that looks like an orange yeah there's an orange and then I did the Bing family so this took me about a couple of weeks to do I think you could sit down and really finish it quickly but it took me a bit of time because I had to do a big list of all the families that I wanted to include and then I had to go through and find all the images too um, and this is the tie the little bus family and then you can see this is the minions family so it did take a while and then we've got the Futurama family here And the Looney Tunes family. Then we've got the Trolls World Tour family, and again, one of our favourites at the moment. So I've got 10 characters from that film. So we've got everything from your famous Brunch and Poppies, and we've got Delta Dawn, and all the new characters too, like Trollex, which is from World Tour. Then we've got Mr. Men and Little Miss Family. Again, 
there's 10 of these because there's so many Mr. Men and Little Miss characters, couldn't fit them all on. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I've got the Despicable Me family. I think this is Despicable Me 3 actually that we get the Benjamin Bratt character. And then we've got the Spongebob family. I wonder how many of you have seen all the cartoons I've mentioned so far or maybe you are meaning to watch some of them. And then we've got the Toy Story family. This is the Toy Story 3 family because we've got Forky there. And then we've got the Coco family. You see, I couldn't find a good image from the actual animation. You see, I've got these are, I think these are the little um, blind bag figures. But you get the drift, don't you? You understand what I'm trying to do. And then I did, again, like I said, because I'm not just doing cartoons, I was looking for lots of different ideas that might be inspiring. I did the solar system family. So I think we have all the planets here from Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars going across and then we had space which is why I've got the moon and the sun on here too because we need to find 10 things that fit in then I've got the swashbuckle family oh my goodness I've just realized I need to find another swashbuckle character I can't think who actually because we've got hook line sinker um I'll have to have a think about that maybe there's someone else that I can stick on that I just realized I've missed that and then we've got Sarah and duck family a lot of these are CBBs. Now, like I said, some of these images I found on the internet. These ones are from my old CBBs magazines that we didn't need anymore. And that makes it a bit easier because I didn't have to print them out and it's better quality. A couple of these are actually stickers. I had to go through um, a bag that I have of all the old magazines that I used recycling and scrapping and things. Uh, Moon and Me family here. And the Peter Rabbit family. Now these ones you can see because they're shiny. These are a natural uh, sticker set which is way easier because obviously it's already there, it already sticks. But unfortunately, I didn't have stickers for every um, in the family, alpha blocks. See here again, I have uh, 10 because there's so many letters to include. And then again, one of my general random ones, animal family, it's more of a safari animal family too. And these are stickers that were with the CBBS magazine, which I thought would be cool to include and a general food family. I was going to say vegetables, but baked beans aren't vegetables, guys. So it's just a food family. Again, it's instant stickers. Then I've got the waffle family, but I mean by that is Waffle the Wonder Dog. It's Waffle the Wonder Dog in the middle there. And then we've got the Octonaut family. And I did actually stick Inkling on there rather than sticking, I don't know, who else could I stick on there? Barnacle, there's barnacles. Well, I don't know. I don't think they're still part of the same family, aren't they? You don't have to stick the top five most famous characters on. I've got the Frozen family here, the original Frozen cast, actually. And then I've got the Gojetters family. And I think those, some of those were stickers. I think it's somewhere from the magazine. Then, oops, some pages still a bit sticky. Then I've got the Clangers family here. And the Get Well Soon family on this side, Dr. Ranch. And then I've got the Furchester family on Muppets. They're not the same as Muppets. No, sorry, they're not the same. Are they Sesame, from Sesame Street? I don't know. And then we've got the Giggle Bears family. Of course, that's all um, Mr. Tumble in different costumes. And then we've got the Super Mario family. So we've got some inspiration here from video games. And we've got, I put Thomas on there because it's too long to put Thomas the Tank Engine family. But here's some of the Thomas the Tank Engine family. But I don't know what her name is. Then I've got the Monsters University family here. Because these guys are specific to Monsters University. Then I've got the Crudes family. Now this is a uh, long animation. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it. I think it's not as well known as some of the others, but we've seen this, it's quite funny. I think The Croods 2 is coming out soon too. It's about some caveman and his family. Um, but yeah, it's actually quite a good film. And there's The Sing Family, you know, if you guys have seen this. It's a really nice musical cartoon. Not cartoon, it's an animation, full length one. And then we've got The Finding Dory or Finding Nemo Family. No, actually it'd be Finding Dory, wouldn't it? Because Finding Dory is, this, this uh, angel fish is from I need Dory. And then I have for you the Snoopy family going retro. Snoopy family. 
And if it doesn't look perfectly neat, it's because I was, I was getting to the point where I thought, oh my goodness, I just really want to finish this. I've got the Wallace and Gromit family. Because my plan is to give this to one of my kids who I think will absolutely love it because he loves the Finger family song. Angry Birds family here. And then I've got the Secret Pet Life of Pets family. And then I've got these guys now. Do you recognise these? I should have tested you guys on some of this. This is Hotel Transylvania, which again is a really fun film. And then I've got the Teen Titans Go family. I have the Zootopia finger family. And the Scooby Doo family. In case you're wondering, I tried tracing my own hand, but I have big hands. So I did, I'll show you, I'll do the last page with you so you see how it's done in case you want to do some crafting like this if you're bored and you want to do this. This is from a um, short, this is called Interstellar 555, which it is an animation, but it has some mu music from a band called Daft Punk um, through, through the whole thing. And this animation is designed, I think, to fit with that. It's quite an interesting one if you like manga Japanese style type animation. And then I've got this Book of Life family. Again, I don't know if that film is that well known, but it's a really good one. It's a really lovely musical one again. It's similar to Coco. And then I've got a gaming fan. It's the Animal Crossing family. Got some KK Slider there, Timmy, Tommy, some, um, I was going to say Annabelle, Isabel. And then I have here the Kung Fu Panda family. Can't forget Kung Fu Panda. And then we have the Aladdin family, something classic Disney there for you. I don't have all the classic Disney films in here. I think I kind of, it's quite hard sometimes finding good images of those. I have the Incredibles family. Did I already do the Incredibles family? Why do I suddenly feel like I've done the Incredibles twice? Let me go back. It is possible because I kind of did them at different times that I've doubled up. Did I do the Incredibles twice? Like I'm crazy. Why do I feel like I've done the Incredibles twice? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I just thought I did. Well, maybe I didn't then. Hmm, okay, maybe I didn't. I thought I did, I thought I saw them earlier. Okay, and then we've got the Emoji. This is the Emoji Movie family, which again is, it's not my favorite, but it's still, it's still worth watching. Then we've got, do you remember this? Bird and Bird. It hasn't been on TV for a long time, but it's actually one of our favorites here because they've got nice songs and nice stories. The Adams Family, and there's an Adams Family from my generation, which is the big film, and there's Adam Gen Adams Family, I think, uh, that was a TV series many, many years ago, and now there's this animation, which is one for kids now, which is quite good fun. Then I've got the Bits and Bobs Family. As you can see, I've not done this in any particular order, it's just whatever I feel like. And I've got the Marvel Superhero Family, course we need some Captain America, some Iron Man, Spider Man. And then we've gone to some book stuff here because this is Three Little Pigs family. We've got our Three Little Pigs, we've got Mommy Pig and we've got a wolf which is actually I think it's the Looney Tunes wolf but it will do. And then I'm not finished because I've got some Powerpuffs, the Powerpuff Girls family. Retro. And then I have the Yo Gabba Gabba family. It's not something, it's not a show we get in the UK regularly but I know some people love it, so we've got that. Then we've got some Peppa Pig. We've got Peppa Pig from that old George on here, actually. And then I have In the Night Garden family. I mean, I can't actually name all these characters. Oh, and then we've got some internet famous faces here. We've got the Storybots family. And we've got, this is another retro one for you guys, the Num Tums family, because they don't show this show anymore. They finished it. But it's a good show. And then... We've got the Twirly Woos family. Okay. And then the Ra Ra family here. Gotta put some Ra Ra in, right? And then, oh, here's another one. Maybe not all of you have seen. This is the Mr. Bean family. Which is kind of funny. Then we've got Pablo. Lovely Pablo. And animals. And then, 
next, oh, this is another book one that some of you may or may not know. This is Paper Dolls. Paper Dolls is a famous book. I think it's by Julia Donaldson, another really lovely book for younger children. And I saw this image on the internet, so I printed it out because again, this is one of our favorite books. So this leaves me with one page left and the back page, I was just going to put something like a message in the back, but I will do this last page with you just to show you how I did it. Um, so I printed this from the internet. That's why all the hands look the same because I use this template that I printed out and because I just realized I'm actually extremely, extremely bad at drawing the shape of hand. You think it looks simple, but it's actually not. So what I did with that is I placed it wherever I wanted, you know, you know somewhere in the middle like this. <coughs> excuse me and then I got a black felt tip pen just a basic felt tip pen is fine and then I can see I don't know if you can see but I can see where the hand is so I'm just going to trace that and my pen started to run out a little bit because I've done so many with the black but it should be okay round like this And then the next thing we could do, I'll show you what else we need. You need some glue. This is just a basic glue stick. And then our last one is going to be TNMO. It's just, there's no particular reason. Um, in fact, did I do number blocks? I must have done the number blocks one. Did I mention number blocks? Thinking about it now, so so many of you are fans of number blocks, I should have finished with number blocks. But now I can't remember if I did one. I must have done a number blocks family. You know, there's so many after a while, you feel like you've seen something before <laughs> when it hasn't actually been. I must have done the number box family. Have I not? Do you know what I should do on the front page? I just realized what I should do. I should, on my front page, I should do an index so I know, so I can actually um, maybe find one that I've seen before. Did you, guys, did I, did I already mention number blocks? Because that's definitely one that I printed out and now, I don't remember actually showing you guys the number blocks from me. I don't think I did. I must have printed out the image and then with it being one that I really wanted to include, I actually completely forgot to include it. So I'm going to have to, after I've done the TMO, what I will do is I promise you I will do a number blocks um, version and I will add that on the very back page here. Number blocks can go on the very back. So, but I was going to show you now because I've got everything in front of me this. So the next thing I'm going to do is colour in the hand and I'm using these pencils. Now the thing is I've had these for about 10 years and I've not really had a use, any use for them. I just don't really draw people. And then I thought, oh gosh, I'm gonna use them now. And they're from Lyra. They're they are really creamy. I mean, bearing in mind they're like 10 years old. And it's called Skin Tones and it just comes in different shades. And what I've done in this book, I've just, I've just picked any. I haven't gone for any particular kind of pattern. I've just gone for whichever I felt like. So I'm just gonna pick one. Maybe one that looks a bit sharp. But this one, this one looks quite sharp. Maybe I've not used that much. It's a brownie shade. Like I said, I've not, I've not gone for any particular, um, any kind of pattern with the colours. I've just gone for whatever, I've picked one up and started colouring in. And it's a really creamy, soft pencil. You could also use felt tips if you want. You can actually buy some really great um, so-called skin tone felt tips or markers from Crayola, although they're out of stock everywhere. I did have a look. They're out of stock everywhere. And you can get crayons as well, but again, they're out of stock. But pencil crayons, though, they seem to have absolutely everywhere at the moment. So, the other thing you can also do with these kind of pencil crayons is you can blend the colours too. You can blend them to get different tones, because obviously people are all different colours. Oops. I'm going to show you how I did this. So after I finished colouring in, I would take my scissors and I'd cut out. So obviously T and Mo are our main characters, but I need another three, so I think I'll do one, two, three actually. These are the kind of the guys that are involved in the in the singing. I love the T and Mo songs, they're just really sweet songs.
Now I'm going to write the name on the bottom. It's just some whatever handwriting really. And that's how I do my page spread. So I think, I don't know if I'll do an index, but I'll probably do like a introduction page there and a message inside. And that's it. That's how I did my finger family book with lots and lots of different characters, animations included. Let me know what you thought about this random crafting project, if you will do something similar, if you'd like me to make more kind of interesting books and things like that. And I will see you again next time. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.